um, in order for you as the teacher or the staff member and your students to register, they will need to go to az.zfairs.com. Um, and there also is a link to that on the Arizona Science Center website. It just says register here, um, but you click on that and it'll pull you up to the homepage for the Arizona Science and Engineering Fair. So of course, I already have some login names and passwords up here, but if this, if everybody will need to create a new account, if you haven't already done so this season, um, because we clear all student, teacher, judge, and volunteer data out of it each year. Um, so if I am registering as a teacher, you'll go in and put your, your information and I'm gonna register to create an account. And at this point, based on your role in AZCEP is where you choose what you are going to register as. So right now I'm demonstrating registering as a teacher. So you'll click teacher. And then on the first uh, page is all of the demographic information that you will need to enter in. And then very important, remembering your password. It's usually not the adults, but I often get um, emails that students have forgotten their password. So, you know, when your students get to the point of registering, ask them to write down the password. It's very helpful. Anything with an asterisk is what you need to make sure you fill in. If it doesn't have an asterisk, you don't have to. And so you'll come across this. It's just got a couple of, of uh, questions. Do you, as the teacher of the school, plan to attend? Yes or no? And then where are you a teacher? Where are you currently a teacher? So what you'll do is you'll click on this and you can scroll down and choose your school. Um, this list of schools is updated each year. So your school should be listed, but if not, then you can add the school to the list, but make sure you check first. Make sure you ch uh, choose the one with your city because there might be you know, two schools with the same name in a different city. Um, it's really like with some of the charter schools, um, you know, Academy of Math and Science, you got to figure out which one it is, make sure you and your students pick the right one, um, et cetera. So I am going to, for this teacher, I always just choose that school and then hit save and continue. Now, until you register, none of your students will be able to register in the system. So that is super important. Um, and so then you'll, you know, ask these questions or, or answer these questions. So you'll need to determine um, whether or not your school is going to pay for your students' registration or if you are going to ask the students' um, parents to pay for them. Registration is $25 a student. Um, and so that'll, you know, you'll just need to determine that because this will determine how the student answers their question. So if the school is going to pay with either a credit card or a purchase order, Mark yes. If they are wanting the families to pay, mark no. Do you serve as the district coordinator? So if you are the, uh, the, the district coordinator, not an individual school teacher, but you coordinate many schools, you can mark this. And this way, this would give you oversight of all the different schools in your district. Um, if you mark no, then you will just get oversight of the students who choose you as their teacher. So I'm going to say no, she's not the, the district coordinator. Um, will your students uh, be transported via a school bus or a van? Um, and if so, mark yes, no, or I don't know yet. So um, this isn't going to be as big of a deal. Um, to know this in advance at um, ASU as it was for our parking here when we were in downtown Phoenix. Um, but ASU does want to know 
generally how many buses they're going to have, et cetera, so they we can work out the parking for all of those. So I'm going to say yes, they'll be coming in a district bus or multi-passenger van. Um, and whether or not that van will be staying at ACSEP throughout the day. So sometimes buses will drop the students off and then come back and get them later, especially if they're you know relatively close by. But obviously, um, schools or districts that are coming from a, a long distance, their um, van or bus would be staying here um, all day long. So just hit save and continue on those. And so now as the educator, the teacher, you have created an account. And so then it comes down and just gives you some information um, about ACSEF, et cetera. Down here provides you with information on how to generate an invoice for your district um, in order for the, the um, in order to submit payment. So I'll show you how to do that in a minute, but here is also the directions down at the bottom of this um, teacher page. So once you have created your account, if you want to go in and create an invoice, you come up here in the top right-hand corner, well, actually you won't be able to create an invoice until you have students register, but I'll show you generally how this happens. So you come up here and click on your name and then come down to profile. And again, you can see that you are registered as a teacher. Um, once you have students that actually have registered under you, you can come up to this tab right here, my students, and it'll click on it and it will show you all of the students who have registered under you. Nobody has registered under Janice at this time, so it's blank. But in order to um, find the, be able to create the purchase order, if you go to the store and then you click on my students, I see that Mike Nickel has, a, has an invoice. So I'm going to click him, add it to the cart. So if you have 15 students here, you'll click them all and add them to the cart. Come to check and pay it. So at this point in time, if the school is paying for all the students, you can create an invoice and that will create the invoice and then you can print and view it. So you can print this out and you can submit this to your district um, that would have the students and the teacher's name, et cetera, with the purchase order. If you don't wanna do that and you wanna pay via credit card, super easy, you just enter the credit card information and hit pay now. If at any time you want to go back and see your students, you will have your students here. And if your student is part of a team, you know that they're a team of two or team of three, you can see if their team members have registered or not. You can see if their registration fee has been paid. Um, you can check to see that they are in the correct division and grade level, their science, their project name, their uh, project ID number, and who their teacher and email is.